All right, well, let's start recording. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. A um, couple of things. Um, hold on. My son is arguing with YouTube um, and commenting on the guys. I don't know what they're doing. Um, so we're going to be in um, Desmos today. Um, again, you guys are going to hate me. Um, um, we are not doing deck toys in class. That is going to be our homework for today. Um, see it this way before you guys start getting angry. See it this way. You now get to rack up as many points as you want. That way, when we come back and we do another one, maybe next week, I will probably do one next week because we haven't been doing one this week. Um, you guys will have a whole bunch of points and then you can mess with all of us and be able to like, you know, challenge any of us and, you know, use the gauntlet and do all that stuff. And then, you know, Miss Gomez has not played deck toys ever. So you're gonna have to, you know, help her out to learn and probably mess with her the most. I mean, um, you know, be super nice and be, you know, like, you know, ease her into the torture that you guys tend to do to me. Aww. So, <laughs> Do um, yeah. I think we might do uh, a little bit more gauntlet because we might not do it this week. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you guys, you guys can go into deck toys, rack up as many points, and then, you know, the more points you guys have, the more likely you guys can, you know, activate that gauntlet early or like freeze people, do the parasite, like so many things to mess with your classmates. <laughs> so, um, so that is going to be your homework. Um, all you would have to do is take a screenshot of your completed level. So you should see that green, if you remember, you should see the green for every level, just take a screenshot and then upload that. Um, and then that will let me be able to um, know that you guys did it 100%. Um, and then we are at the very end of class going to do just one page in our notebook in class kit. But 99% of our class is gonna be in picture perfect. Um, so it's an activity that we're gonna do, it's in Desmos. So if we go to um, Google Classroom, go under classwork, it's on the bottom of week two and it's called Picture Perfect. Please log in with your district email um, and password if it's asking you guys for that. So if you click on login, go to Google and then you guys can put in your first and last name um, and then hit go. So we're gonna hit go. And it should pause your access to this. Uh, let me, I see some of you guys, woof, like you guys are all logging in. Hey Alexis. Um, if you go to, uh, we're just starting our first activity. So if you go to Google Classroom, click on classwork, scroll down to where it says picture perfect. It's on the week two, you'll see it. Um, click on it and then just log in with your district email and password and make sure that um, it says your first and last name on it. Okay. But I see all of you guys logging in. Remember, I can see who is logged in and who is not logged in and how far you guys are going. So <clears throat> if for whatever reason you guys can't log in with me right now, please give me a message and let me know like, hey, whatever your reason is, um, it's important for me to know that.
And I'm actually going to unpause, but we're pacing ourselves. We're going to do just this first page. <clears throat> um, Miss Wyman, why so many slides? Trust me, you need it because we're going baby steps. And each slide, we learn a little bit more and a little bit more until the end. And you're like, and we're not doing all of them. We're going, we're only doing it up to 14. 14 will be our last slide. So we're not doing the last four. And I'll lock you guys just between one and 14, eventually. Right now, I'm locking you at one. Wait, we're doing slide all the way to slide 14 today? Yeah. That's why it's gonna take us like the whole period to do it. Trust me, it, it goes fast. So place the hooks. You have three pictures to hang. Drag the blue points to place the books, the hooks, so they're equally spaced from one another. Again, equally spaced, meaning that each hook, for the most part, you need to try as close as you guys can to getting them to be spaced apart equally. So I'm gonna move these guys, but I'm gonna do it on purpose and I'm going to really make this last one really wrong. And I'm gonna click on try it. And notice this picture frame falls down super quick. Um, the hook didn't even come close to it. So I can hit reset. And I know that the picture frame should be somewhere over here. So I click on that. The picture frame will come back down. It's still a little bit off. So I reset again. I think it's this way. No, I think it's up. OK, so I did it in three tries. Um, three tries is about average. Um, some kids take longer, some kids um, I've had a couple of kids do like some magic voodoo stuff and get it on their first try. So um, I'm looking at some of you guys. Let's see how long that took you guys. So Hyron, great job. Ooh, I got on the Daisy. Wait, what? Got on the first try. You too? Daisy got it too. Oh, you I guys are... No, but it won't let me move on to the next screen. Yeah, because I don't, I'm not letting you. So, Alondra, I see that you did it too. I'm locking you guys. Hello? Like, I, it, it's locked. Wait, chill, relax. Give everyone a chance to start. You've had way too much coffee. Calm down. <laughs> I haven't had enough. So, um, let's see. Egypt, I see yours. Great. Um, Dude, okay, Yaeli, you got it first try too. That's awesome. Cassie, great job. Uh, Adrian, great job. America, great job. Alfonso, great job. I, I like how some of you guys are spacing them out a little bit more. That's great. Zulema, great job. Um, Miss Navarro, dude, you got it your first try. Awesome. Jonathan. Awesome. Lisandro, again, first try. Good job. Christian, ooh, you got it on two. Nice. Melanie R, great. Anthony, great. Jonathan, great. Manuel, great. Oh, so many awesome stuff. Some of you guys are still working on it. Fur, good job. Isaac, great. Oh, beautiful. I love it. All right. I, I, this class has the most first tries that is insane i don't know how okay so now for those of you guys who had a little bit of a difficulty with this one and took a couple of more tries to do it try the next one this one has a different background it has some furniture around it maybe some of this stuff will help you guys be able to place them in a correct spot Again, I am going to drastically mess this up. Ooh, also there are four, not just three. So now mm, we need to think about it a little bit. So I have this place, oof, so wrong. Let's see, my first timers, can you guys get it again on the first try? Let's see. 
So again, all of you guys should be able to go to that next slide. Oh my God, Egypt. Again, some of you guys are like, have voodoo magic. Like, that's insane. I like, I wanna be as awesome as you guys. Cause three, three was always my good one. And that was me trying. And three is pretty much where I'm at. Ooh. Nice job, Daisy. Awesome work. I did it on the second try. Still, hey, good. that that's still pretty good. Like one or two tries, that's pretty good. At least didn't do five can, tries. Doc, you can just use the lines, like the lines, the dots on the wall. And that's a very good strategy to use. Using these dots in the back. This lets you guys be able to, you know, determine, okay, so I have roughly the same each time, but it's not always, a, like, you can't always get it a 100% right. I don't think this is 100% right. I'm a little off. Yeah, I was going to say I'm a little off on these, but you can pretty much, like, be able to do that. And sometimes I, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. I need to go the other way. See? But I have Yahita eyes. So. No? Oh, yeah. Four tries. Four. Come on, guys. And that's with my old eyes. You guys have young eyes. But some of you guys are too cool for glasses. So, you know. Doc. It just went right through the middle of it. Right through the middle and then it stayed. Oh, because you're like a hair off. Like that's that's the importance of what we're trying to learn. That it needs to be perfect, like right on the dot. Like that's like I I'm telling you, put them three apart and you put them two point nine. So just a tiny bit. And it matters, that tiny bit, that matters a lot. So make sure it has to be perfect. But awesome job, guys. I see a lot of you guys have already finished, great. Keep it going. Now, we're going to do one more. This lets you know, slide three, there's nothing for us to do. But it does let us know how many times our whole class together has even tried this. So we've tried it and see, it just went up by nine points. So 229 attempts we've done so far. Um, and out of those 229, six people or six of those tries got it that first try. So that's awesome. So six, that's the most I've gotten. I think one class got four, maybe something. So, and then the other class only got two. So good job, guys. Ooh, we're up to 39. All right. So nothing on slide three. We're going to move over to slide four. Now we're going to try, yeah. Um, uh, no, I'm still on the third one. And it doesn't let me slide the thing anymore. It's the picture still going all the way outside of the box. You're on the second one? Third one. There's nothing on uh, the third the one. That's, that's the picture. not letting you redo it? Oh, the picture for me is going like outside, you know, the little square where it shows it? It's going outside the square. It doesn't let me move the hook over there anymore. Like the picture's going oh, outside. Oh, yeah, you broke it. That's fine. Move over to slide four. Okay. God, Lissandra, I can't take you anywhere. Hi, Lissandra. Junior, swear to God. Supposed to be paying attention, break the game. All right. So here's a little bit different. Now we're given. I got the, it, Doc. Give me directions. Shh, wait, calm down. <laughs> you guys are okay. too fast. <laughs> so the wall is 12 feet. All right. 
I need to be within those 12 feet. But instead of us just trying to guess moving the um, little hooks, we can now pick the distance of where we're gonna start, all right? So you guys, I'm not gonna give you guys an example of it. You guys do that on your own, but you guys can start wherever you guys want. Try it a couple of times. If you don't like what you guys got, do not give answers. Hiren, I want you, you. Okay, is mine good? Uh, hold on. I am looking. Wait, relax. Ooh, yours is weird, but uh, I guess it works. But yeah, your, how did, he's decreasing. So uh, yeah, yours is weird. It's saying like, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, oh. I don't know how that works. It shouldn't work. He broke it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are breaking my, my, my game. Yeah, that does not work. Because if you would switch those first two numbers, then it would work, right? Oh, if you take a look at his, oh, but it still hung it. Yeah. But it doesn't have equal spacing between them when you really look into his pictures. That's so weird. That yeah, I, I yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are breaking my game. That's not cool. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but not cool. Ooh, uh, I like, or at least the first couple of you guys that I'm looking at, like you guys are picking different numbers. Okay, how are you guys doing this? Like some of you guys are going random like numbers, like Egypt has like did it too. How is that working? I don't know how that works. They're hacking. Yeah, you guys are hacking my game and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> But I like the fact that for the ones not hacking my game, like I see some of those um, distances that you're doing and I like what I'm seeing. So, um, ooh. Doc, do I redo mine? No. Doc, well, I mean, it, it, it worked. <laughs> Again, you guys are breaking my game. I have no idea how some of you guys are doing this. Some of you guys put negative numbers and it like, I, I'm confused how you guys did some of these things. I mean, in technicality, it works. But then there's others that you guys like, like, yeah. But some of you guys are doing this like voodoo stuff where the distance is right. But my like, I think yeah, I don't know. Desmos is just used to recognize the numbers that they I have think so. in the order. So like, um, Hold on, let me see. So some of you guys are, you know, the most common one, actually the most common one was you guys breaking it in random numbers. But like in all my classes, the most common one was to do this, two, four, six. That was the most common one out of all of my classes was them just doing that. Um, then I, um, I've seen some of you guys do this, four, five, and six. This is kind of like, I call this one like my cheater way of doing it because you're just going off by ones. But one reason why I like 
specifically this one, because one of you guys put this one, is the fact that you guys gave it so much space. Like you guys were trying to get past this table. And I like the fact that you guys gave it so much space before you guys put, you know, the equal distance. Um, that's actually go thinking one step ahead uh, and, and, you know, of where we're heading towards. Um, some of you guys did kind of this, um, but the hacker way of you guys doing this was somehow this was a seven and this is a three and somehow that works. And again, I don't know how that works. It only works in Desmos because this That's, wouldn't work in real life. Yeah. I think I know how it works. So you know how like the first hook is like seven. That one goes all the way to the far right. The second one goes in the middle and then the third one goes at first. Yeah. But yeah. and and I'm assuming that that's what it is. It's just that it's kind of annoying on my end because the picture frames didn't move. So like this picture frame should be here and then this one should be like the order should have been different for the picture frames. Then I would have been okay with this. But yeah, I get it. All right. Um, but again, I really like the fact, uh, and because of my OCD, I'm going to move these guys again because I don't like that. Um, again, I see that you guys have a difference of three to five. That's two. So from three to five, I'm adding two. From five to seven, I'm adding two. And again, I like the fact there's extra space here because from zero to one, the first hook, that's not two. That's a little bit more. I kind of like that. All right. So, oh, thank you. Miss, what's the weirdest one you've got in? <laughs> Your guys's. Like, no one else did a different order. Everyone did, you know, a nice, a nice order, you know, smallest to greatest. That makes sense. Y'all decided, like, four of you guys, you know, before I started like you know making comments about the weird order, started doing weird orders. So I don't know what you guys are doing. Do it from smallest to greatest. You're gonna mess with me. That's gonna <laughs> so again, smallest to greatest as you guys are going through these, because that's how you're supposed to do it. Don't crack my game. So let's move on to the next one. So again, moving forward. We're doing it again, only this time our wall is larger. It's 20 feet, but we have this eight feet that we cannot touch at the end. So the distance that we do, we need to make sure that it's not going to touch this door. So tr again, I'm not going to give you guys the answers. You will go from smallest to greatest. And now because I said will, then you guys are gonna do something different. See, Isaac likes me. Isaac's being nice to me. First, I got her first time. First try. <laughs> uh, I, I see some of you guys in your, your, you know, easy mode. I see the easy mode going. Ooh, some of you guys going a little harder mode. Adding that extra space. I like it. I like it. I see you guys working. Again, totally totally okay for you guys to go kind of that easy route going that really easy distance some of you guys you know going and doing you know adding that extra space in the front i like it i like it i see you guys working i see that you know some of you guys are struggling through it trying to figure out okay what pattern do i want to do totally okay with that So I see a, I saw a lot of you guys go kind of that easy route and just was like, you know what? I don't want to risk hitting that door. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. It works. Totally works. Totally fine. No big deal. Some of you guys were like, no, no, no. Um, 
I'm going to go the easy route, but we're going to start at four. So four, five, six, seven. Again, totally okay. I kind of like this one a little bit more because there's, you know, space here, there's space there. It looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. I like it. I like it. Um, again, I like this idea because we have that extra space in the front. All right. So these have equal distance, but we have that extra space. Kind of want you guys to think, what, what, what is this extra space? Like how much space do we have extra here? So if I wanted to put another hook right here, that would take away one spot. Well, what, what's that extra spot? Like how much of an extra distance did we add here? Can anyone get, you know, take a hint? If it's from zero, we go to four. If I want that extra, the same, like, Take away that extra distance to so that one. What's that extra space? I always feel like I'm saying that wrong or like saying that more confoozled. So again, think of that extra space. All right. Let's go on. Now we're going to be adding two slides. So we're going to be on slide five, but in order to test it, we go to slide six to try it. All right, so we're going on, we're going to start on six and we're going to try and figure out, all right, we still need them evenly spaced, but we don't know how much it is between each one of these, what that equal spacing is. So remember, most of you guys were doing it spaced by one. Some of you guys were going spaced by two. We need to figure out what this is. So we have two unknowns and we have this unknown. So put in a couple of numbers, try it out. So like I can do two, uh, 13 and uh, 20. And I can hit next, hit try. And oh, I have this bookcase. I can't even hang this one. Oh, I was like so far on these. So go back here and try different numbers. So try those. Daisy, how did you do that? Did you like solve it as I was talking or did you just go like, oh, I know it? I solved it as you were talking. You guys are too smart. Hmm, this is mine good. I don't know, you guys, you guys are able to try it. Hit the next button and hit try, hit reset. Some of you guys who are asking like, wait, is it, you know, is it by this? Close. Not that, but close. So again, put in some numbers and try. Oh, I see Jessica already got it too. Awesome. I see you guys struggling. That's good. I love the struggle. You guys are like, wait, is it these answers? No. Is it these answers? No. Awesome job. Christian, I see you finished too. Good job. I see the struggle from a lot of you guys. I love the struggle. Remember, we're going from the smallest number to the greatest number. We're not trying to hack the system. And it's okay for us to try it multiple times and then see how close were you when you guys were putting it on? Yes, Egypt, you're right. So again, you might be off by a tiny bit. Go back to this slide and then either go up or go down depending on what side your picture frame landed. But I see a lot of you guys now getting it. I still see a struggle and I love that struggle. I love that you guys aren't giving up. So that's great that you guys are struggling through this. 
But again, hit that try button, not working, try it again. Not working, try it again. Remember, it's that small number to the, you know, to a bigger number. Try and see what are you going by each and every time? What strategies can we figure out? We know that this is 11. We know that this is 23. What kind of strategy can we use with those? But I see a lot of you guys already completed. Ooh, I love it. It's awesome. Fantastic. So let's see. Uh, I see some of you guys who, you know, weren't struggling are struggling now. I like it. Continue to struggle. Some of you are so close. You're off by like one, guys. So looking at this, can anyone tell me? what strategy they did. Like, what did they do in order to figure it out? Anyone wanna let me know? What was your struggle? How did you figure it out? It's okay to be like, I just kept guessing. Or tell me a pattern you guys saw. You don't have to unmute. You can just put it in direct um, in chat. You can just private message me if you guys want. Totally okay. Come on, I have some big brains. You guys have big brains. Guessing. Guessing is probably one of the biggest ones that you guys did. I guess most of it, yeah. A lot of you guys probably guess I started with a random number and added another number to get 11, then the next one. That's a good way, yeah. So you kept trying to like guess until you guys got to that number. If you minus 23 and three, you get 19. And, or if, and oh, so if you minus 23 and four, you get 19, minus it again and again. So you tried subtracting like that, figuring out that distance first. So nice, okay, awesome. Um, someone else in one of the last periods said that they did 23 minus 11, they got 12 and then they divided it by three to figure out these three. And then they were able to like say, oh, that's gonna be my distance each time. So we're gonna be doing it by four. Yeah, some of you guys are like, oh, I just realized I was gonna go up by four. Yeah. So. 11 plus four, 15, 15 plus four, 19. But I'm not going up. How would I figure out the one? What would I do with that one? How would I figure that one out? Subtract. We would subtract. So 11 minus four, that would give me that first one. All right, so keep, we're gonna be working on this one a for a couple of slides. So keep this in mind as we're going through it. Again, each time we're going up by four. So let me open up the next two slides. So we're on eight and nine. So let's click on next. Same numbers. We're still going up by four. We just finished doing one through five. I want you guys to do finish up the rest of this. So we're still going up by four. So 23 plus four, 27, and keep going from there. So keep adding four to the end. 
to each one of these. So notice the baby steps that we are taking, slowly going through all of this stuff. And I see a lot of you guys doing this, a lot of additions. Some of you guys, your adding is off by a tiny bit. So some of you guys started like adding three and then four. So double check some of your guys' addition. You should be going up by four. So all of these should give you um, odd numbers. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. So I see a lot of you guys have finished. So continue doing this. 27 plus 4, 31. 31 plus 4, 35, 35 plus 4, 39, and 39 plus 4, 43. So awesome. I hit next. And then we see our very first um, part of our wall. And then we're going to hit try it. And it's going to extend. And I'm gonna see the rest of these. Perfect, I love it. Let's go back just one second. I'm gonna hit reset because I want you guys to see this part. Remember how I was talking about that extra piece? So we know from one hook to the next hook, that's four. So this is four, this is four, this is four, this is four. But if I go four more, that's going to get me to the bookcase. How long is that bookcase then? Because I still need to figure that out. That's that extra piece. All right. Because that's not going to get me to zero. Because if I look, if I'm subtracting four, subtracting four, subtracting four, subtracting four, if I subtract four, that's not going to give me zero. What extra piece do I need in order to get to that zero? Can someone let me know how big, how, what's my distance? How big is this bookcase? If I know this is four, this is four, this is four, this is four, this is four. How big is this bookcase? Ah, someone said three. How did you get three? How would you get three? Because zero would go to four. So we're taking seven because that's what we know hook one is. And we know we're subtracting four. So we're subtracting four. So how much is that extra? Our extra is three. So then we know I'm going to go three first and then start counting by fours because I need to pass that bookcase and then go by fours. All right, hmm. Think, keep that in mind. All right, we need to pass this bookcase first and then we can count by fours. Hmm. Keep it in mind. There's a reason to my madness. All right, adding two more slides. Still dealing with this, like all of these numbers. I'm gonna hit the next button. You have two options. One, you can keep adding by four all the way down to 30, which is okay. Some of you guys might still be in that spot, that same mindset. Or if you guys have kind of understood that little extra, you guys can try and create a formula about it. You know, so what would the formula kind of look like? And I'll give you guys a template and you guys can try it or just work on the table and fill out the table. 100% okay to fill out just the table. But 
your equation would kind of look like this. D equals, I can't do an underscore, so I'm gonna put dots. That's where your number should go. N is the number of hooks plus some sort of number. That kind of is getting us started into talking about this formula. Does anyone remember that formula? Slope intercept form, that y equals mx plus b. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys like, oh yeah, I remember that from last year or the year before that. This might be where you guys stopped right before COVID hit. So you, some of you guys might have gotten to this point. Some of you guys might not have gotten to this point. Um, again, slow baby steps. Um, again, the, um, N is represented by the hooks. So what's the distance between the hooks? Four. You know, you guys can do, you know, the little bit extra piece that we had, or you guys can do that, go down this um, table and just add, add four. So you have those two options. Do you want to fill out the formula? Do you want to try it? You must hit submit first. It's not going to show it to anybody, but you have to hit submit and then you go to next and you can try it. Um, I learned that the, the hard way because last period I didn't hit submit and then nothing happened and I was like trying to figure it out. So you have the two options, either continue adding by four. So 43 plus four is 47 and you know 51 and keep going or you guys can try this equation either one is up to you guys i'm going to start looking at you know some of your guys's progress i see tables great totally okay to see tables totally fine I see tables, great. I see you guys finishing up those tables. I love it. I love that struggle of trying to like add up everything. Some of you guys have done the table, but you're like, mm, I let me try the equation. So I see some equations starting, but pretty much I see those, those tables being filled out. I love that. Good job, guys. I see those tables being filled out, great. Ooh, I have some of you guys starting those equations and, and you have half of it. I, I, I like it. I like that struggle. You're like, mm, I'm gonna try doing something different. Totally okay. Others, you guys are like, nope, I'm sticking with these tables. I, I'm sticking with what I know. Totally okay to do that. Doc. If the, no, if, no, uh, no. If, no, I'm asking uh, them about that. No. Oh. Dur direct message me. You specifically, direct message me. Not. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'll private chat you right now. Hold on. Some of you guys are very close to equations. That's why I'm like, no, hush. I don't trust what you're going to say to everybody. Keep the secret. Keep the secret alive. Um. You are close, but, but notice how this number that you have right here and this number do not match. They should match. This number is close to what you have. But yeah, your numbers should match. All right, so I'm going to erase this part. I'm going to go and copy all of these down. So 55, 59, 
Oh my god, lost my voice. Wait, uh brain point. All right, 71, 75, 79, uh 83, 87. Whoop, seven. Thank you, computer. Uh 91, 95, 99, 103, 107, 11, ah! One on one, one one on five, one one nine, and one two three. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna hit try, and we should see that all of these should not fall, unless I made a mistake. Doc, what do I put in the right here? What's this? Like calculate it. Don't put the, you don't have to put the formula. So if you did the table, totally fine. We don't have to do the formula. It was an either or. Oh, do we just put eight or we can put uh, any number? In the, in this box right here? Yeah. No, don't leave, don't do anything. Leave it blank. Okay. Yeah, you only have to do the boxes here inside the table. Um, All right. Thanks. Continuing a little bit more, only now we're moving away from these guys. All right. <laughs> so we're moving away. Um, think of this as we're think as we're going to move on to the next set of information. But some of you guys were close and some of you guys were like, wait, I kind of got this and you guys got half of it. Remember, our formula looks like this. Plus some sort of number, right? This first number should be the distance that we're going from one hook to the next, right? If that's the case, then this number right here is that bookcase, all right? So if we look at our bookcase, whoops, went the wrong way. Then we know, again, this is four, this is four, this is four, this is four. If I go four more, it's gonna hit me get the, the bookcase, but I don't know what the length of the bookcase is. We talked about it, but that extra space, that extra space is what goes here. Hmm. So think about that. So let's move on. Again, we're going away from that equation. I'm not giving it to you. We're not dealing with this one. We all decided to do the table. The table. We didn't do the equation, but I'm giving you guys hints at how you would fill it out. So let's look at slide 12. Hold on. Jessica, yes. Um, Doc, what do we do? And then here? Lisandro, yeah. So, so good job on you, you guys. That's nice. So, you guys should do very well on this one. So, think of it this way. This is now a new hallway. There's 15 hooks that need to be put up. But now we have decimals. And I know how much you guys love, love your decimals. I love decimals, Doc. Love decimals. They're fantastic. Well, this one's 0.5. That's not that bad. But 
Oh, Doc, I, I get it, 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 I get it. Okay. But I'm going to stay quiet. So, I need to figure out what's that distance going to be from one hook to the next, to the next, to the next. All right. I already know hook one and two's position. So, can I figure out how to get to hook three? Can anyone let me know? What would it be? Or what's my diff what's the distance going to be? Well, how can four, I figure that out? Four, four. Four and a half. Four, four and, and a half. half. So how did you guys figure out four and a half? That is four uh, four plus the point five to the uh, seventeen. Well thirteen so, plus four point point five. So you're subtracting basically seventeen plus point five. You get thirteen, you know, by thirteen, and you get that four point five. So then we can add four point five each and every time, right? So that distance that we're having each and every time, we're going to be adding four point five. So you can add four point five to each one of these, or we can try and come up with a formula. Some of you guys have already told me in chat, like, oh. I got it, let's go, first try, awesome. And great for you guys. If some of you guys are still like, I have no idea what she's talking about, totally okay. Let's go through this journey, let's struggle together. Um, so we would have D equals, D equals what? What was that, that, that distance between one hook and the next? What did we just say that it was? Okay. 4.5, right? Um, that distance, as we're moving forward, we're going to call it slope. I know that this does not look like a slope. I know that that's like, wait, that's not slope. Yeah, I get that. But we're, that's, the, that's the direction that we're heading towards. The ideas behind what we're doing right now is what we're going to be using as we're going through our equations. So as we're going through graphing, it will move us towards that. So we have the distance between each and every one of our hooks is going to be 4.5. So we're going to have 4.5 N. Now we need to find what that extra is. So pretend, remember, we, we normally have a, like, we're always going to try and think, is there a bookcase in front of our pictures or is it? by itself is it like blank so how can we figure that out we can look and see if i go from one to zero and i do this equal distance do i get to zero or do i have that extra chunk of space where a bookcase can go so do i have that extra space if i do 13 and i Take away 4.5. Is that going to give me an, that's going to get me to zero or is that going to give me an extra space? Let me know. Thumbs up, clap. What do you think? Does it get me to zero or is that there that extra space? So some of you guys are like, no, there's that extra space. So what would be that extra space? How can I figure that out? So some of you guys are like already like already there. So I can be like, okay, I know hook one is at 13. If I take away this distance, so 13 minus 4.5, that's going to give me that extra space from the wall to where that first hook should now start jumping. So that's how far the, the bookcase is. So some of you guys told me in chat, it's going to be 8.5. So what's this first number? This first number is going to be that distance between one hook and the next. What's this back number? That's the size of the bookcase. But remember, it's not going to be exactly the same distance from one to zero. It's not going to be 13. That doesn't make any sense. You would have to take this 13 take away that distance and then that extra space, that's gonna be 
your it's eventually going to be called the y-intercept that's going to let you know where we're starting from that's how far away we are from that from our beginning part and if we hit submit now all of a sudden look at that that's so beautiful all of those get put in i don't have to go and add decimals and probably mess up we hit next we hit try it and you see we completely bypass that um this time it was a door and all of my all of my pictures got to hang up nice oh. and easy and awesome you go back in and see it yeah it would look like this. So some of you guys, you guys got it before, you know, I even put it up. Awesome job. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then the last thing that we're going to do, guys, is slide 14. This is where we're going to end this activity. So this guy, Devin, he's like, I got this. So he writes up this equation, D equals four plus two N to represent this table. Is he right? Yes or no? If I put in that first hook, so one, if I solve this, Two times one plus four, is that gonna give me two? What if I do two times two plus four? Does that give me six? So is he right, yes or no? Thumbs up if yes, clap if no. Is this guy, do, like, has he been listening to his teacher? Yeah, you guys are right. He has not been listening to his teacher. Mm -mm bad on this kid. He should have been listening. Mm -hmm. All right. So what did you guys do to figure it out? Did you do kind of like me and just plug in like, oh, well, I did two times one plus four. That didn't give me two. He got a two. I didn't get a two. You know, you guys can put that. Um, you guys, you know, can finish the sentence, finish this thought. Once you guys are done finishing this thought, yes, you do need to write one equate one uh, sentence. I basically told you guys what to write. So write down one sentence on how do you know he's wrong? Come back to Google Classroom and then mark this assignment as done. Please do that. Some of you guys forgot to do that the last time that we did a Desmos activity. And then open up our notebook we're gonna do just one slide before we take off. So again, mark this, uh, mark picture, uh, picture perfect as done. You do not need to attach anything to it. I see how amazing you guys were, or at least for the most part. Yeah, the only people, I mean, yeah, you guys all pretty much participated. Good job. I actually really like it. All right, so we're going to go to week two. We're going to click on class kick. Please remember to log in. We're going to be in this for a couple of days. So click on log in. Make sure that you log in with your district email and password or, you know, with Google. I am not going to open up Google. I'm just going to type in my name. Hit continue. And we're, again, only dealing with this first page. Um, all of your answers are down here at the bottom. All you have to do is just drag them to the right spot. Um, if you guys want to see your notes, you guys. Okay. Uh, you guys can click on your notes right here. And 
And give me a thumbs up once you guys are ready. Yes, it doesn't. It says, "Sorry, work is open on another device." Oh, hold on. There you go. Never you mind. have like three devices, so that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Is the first is the first page supposed to be blue? Yeah. And then all the answers are on the bottom and you guys are just gonna drag them up to the right spot. All right. So again, this kind of like some of you guys, um, yeah, if you guys are stuck on loading, um, again, try and refresh it a couple of times. Um, or if anything, this takes like five seconds to do. It's not that big of a deal. Just watch what I'm doing. And then once Zoom is done, go back and then just move the pieces. It takes five seconds. Um, all we're doing on this slide is figuring out which one is our slope and which one is our Y intercept. Thinking back into the pic picture perfect, we're talking about what which ones are equal distance from each hook and then which one is that you know bookcase the length of the bookcase so our y intercept that's the length of that bookcase and then our slope is that equal distance from one hook to the next all right and on your homework for the deck toy all you're having to do is just tell me which one is the slope you don't have to tell me the y intercept all right. Um, oh yeah, I always forget that. Oh no, wait, it does have a point. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. So looking at question one, I'm gonna look at that very first number in front of our X. The number in front of our X is always going to give us our slope. That's that equal distance from one point to the next or one hook to the next. And then the number on the outside that doesn't have the variable that's going to be our y intercept. So that's going to be the length of that bookcase. So always think of that. If you guys always forget, well, what is that length? Like, what does that mean? Oh, that's that bookcase. Yeah, I remember. That's how far we are from like zero. Like, okay, I got that. All right. So then let's look at two. This time we have a negative. That's totally okay for us to have a negative. We're still going to put it down. So we'll have negative two is my slope. Now for our y-intercept, whatever the operation is in front of it, like this time it was plus, so it's gonna be positive. This is a subtraction symbol. So it's gonna be a negative one. We're gonna take that whole thing and just put it as a negative one. That's probably one of the hardest things to remember is to make that sign go with the number. Uh, so that's one thing that I notice a lot of kids forget Oh, well, I just see a one. That's subtraction. I don't need that. Yeah, you do. That tells you what the what if it's positive or if it's negative. Three, I have my slope. It has the number in front of the X. So I'm going to put that down. That's five. But there's nothing in the back. If there's nothing, then how do I represent nothing? What number do I use for nothing? Zero. Zero. Uh, so I'm going to say y equals zero. What if I just had an x? No number in front. What do you think I'm going to use for that? One. That one, I would use a one. All right. So make sure if you see an x, cool. There's one x, so I would put a one. If there's, you know, no nothing in the back, then I know I'm going to use a zero. I'll show you an example of what happens when I don't have an X. So pay, you know, pay attention. So what happens when I have a fraction? I actually like fractions when it comes to slopes because it tells me my rise over my run. Those are fantastic. With these, I have to remember I need to go over one. So some of you guys sometimes go just up three and then put a dot and then you forget to go over one. So my slope here will be five over eight, but then I have this negative four. So I know my y-intercept is negative four. Um, same thing here. Um, I have a negative two over nine. Um, I don't necessarily like 
having fractions for my y-intercepts, that makes it a little bit harder, but it's not that big of a deal. And it's, you'll probably never, you won't get crazy ones in, ma in math one, you'll, uh, or any fractions. Um, you'll probably deal with more fractions in the upper math classes, all right? But again, we're still gonna put the whole fraction, even though it's a y-intercept, because sometimes it is. Um, now this one, I don't have an X. So what do you guys think? What's my slope going to be if I don't have an X? Zero. Zero. So I don't have an X, there's none, there's no Xs. So how do I represent nothing? Zero, all right? But I do have a number in the back that doesn't have a, a variable. So I would still have my Y intercept be six, all right? So if you were lagging, if you were having issues with uh, um, class kick, take a screenshot of this. All you're gonna do is just move the pieces up to where they should be going. Again, don't forget to um, put in to uh, Google Classroom, like mark it as done for the picture perfect. For deck toys, it's going to ask you guys for one question to unlock the second level. And it's going to ask you guys what letter or what variable represents slope. Can you guys look on this screen? What variable, what letter represents slope in our slope intercept form? M. 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 So it says it right here. So whenever it's asking you guys, hey, what variable do you, do you use for slope? You're going to put M. All right, and then that will unlock this level right here. And then all you're gonna tell me is, oh, is, yeah, it's just five over eight. Oh, it's three. Oh, it's negative two. Oh, it's five. Oh, it's zero. So you'll have that. And then the third level is going to be you guys using the slope and um, the slope formula. That's the Y2 minus the Y1 um, over X2 minus X1. You'll do that. Um, and then that is it, guys. So let me show you real quick deck toys. It looks like this. Again, log in with Google. If you don't log in with Google, you'll lose out on your points. Um, remember to click on entry first or else it won't let you. It'll like yell at you. And then you'll click on here. And then you are gonna be asked, what's the slope? So click on any po point where it's crossing that um, corner. I'm gonna count one, two, so up two, over one. So two over one is C. Not these, some of you guys have been going, like flipping them upside down. Make sure you're climbing up or going down first and then left and right. Hit submit, woohoo, I got it right. And again, this middle one is the one that's going to ask you guys for that code. It's gonna be M, this is just, like your assignment here, just telling me what the variable, like what the slope is. And then the last one, you're using the slope formula, which is what we covered um, last week. Um, and then I'm going to have an extra video. This assignment is for tomorrow, um, but I'm going to make a, because we don't have that much time, I'm going to make an extra video of this. Um, where I, you know, each one of these is gonna have one of each color. And I'm gonna do one of these examples for you guys. But I would probably start with the green ones because I can tell what the slope is right here. Then I would probably go with the graph and then do the yellow and the pink last because that's gonna take more work because you need to use a slope formula for these. All right. But the first page is just blank. It's just a title page. And then you guys have to do um, just slides two and three. All right. This is the homework for tomorrow. So, um, and I have to change that. Uh, Thursday, we have a different practice. Um, I have to move a couple of things around. And if you catch me in a good mood, I might move this again. So I might move this to like Thursday or Friday. So I don't know. Mm. 
Doc. Could I be in a good mood or not? Yeah. So tomorrow we have the PBIS and the slope puzzle activity. Yes. Okay. Again, keep an eye out. I might move that. I might make it easier on you guys. It, it has been quite a week. So keep an eye and see what day this says by tomorrow. Or you guys do it today. It's up to you guys. All right. But that's it for today. Um, please don't forget to do your PBIS lesson. If you guys don't want to do, like you don't have time for the PBIS lesson, at the very least, here in stream, let me know that, you know, you guys are here for, you know, Wednesday if you guys don't have time to do your um, PBIS lesson, but that doesn't count for points unless you guys do your PBIS lesson, all right? Yeah, everyone, you guys can go do your exit ticket and I will see you guys on Thursday. And if you guys uh, wanna do um, tutoring, I have tutoring tomorrow from 12 to two, all right? But yeah, bye guys. See you bye Thursday. Doc. Bye. 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 Bye, bye Doc. Doc. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.